I may or may not, I'm considering getting like the masks and just wearing the masks. I already have like hand sanitizer that I have everywhere, that I take everywhere with me. And then I'm now going to get a Lysol spray. Hey everybody, welcome back. I am now officially in my third trimester and I'm so super excited because it is our home stretch. Okay, so I decided last week, because I had a lot going on, we had a lot of family come in, um, just to visit, like back to back, so I didn't really have enough time to really film a 27 weeks, so that's why I decided just to not do it at all, because it was going to be really late, and I was like, mm, I might as well just wait a couple more days, and then do a 28 weeks update. Um, not to mention, you didn't really miss anything. I mean, the only other thing that I could complain about for being 27 weeks was my sleep, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, so I finally made a doctor's appointment the end of last week, and so they got me in the beginning of this week. I finally got my glucose test done. They said it was something mandatory and I thought that I had <laughs> I was really trying to postpone and avoid it as much as possible but ended up having to do it anyway because I since I don't have health insurance I am trying to cut out all the extra expenses that I don't have to do like if it's some kind of test that I can't do anything about or the doctors can't do anything about to fix whatever and I'm gonna love this child no matter what, regardless of what other health problems or you know whatever journey we have to go through, things that we have to do for our child later. So um, if it's something I can't control or they can't control, then I don't need to know until <clears throat> I don't need to know until the baby gets here, unless it's you know something that could, unless it's something that needed to be addressed, you know beforehand. Y'all get the point, but I'm trying to cut out all of those extra expenses because it is it getting pretty expensive already as it is. Um, so that went well, I'm assuming, because I haven't heard any news back, which is kind of funny because the other two pregnancies, I had to wait, I can't remember how many hours, if you're having to do the glucose test or you've done it before, that you have to wait so long and you can't, you have to cut out all the food and all the um, drinks, at least anything with the sugar. Excuse me, you have to cut all that out um, way before your appointment and then you drink that drink and then <laughs> an hour later you go give your blood. Well, I didn't know, like I said, because I thought I was too far along that they weren't going to do the glucose test. I had just gotten Sonic and I had a huge Dr. Pepper. Somehow I still passed. And this was like not even two hours before my appointment. I even brought the Sonic cup into my appointment. So I, I don't know, I don't know. Thank you Jesus for letting me pass because I haven't heard anything. Knock on wood, <laughs> I haven't heard anything otherwise. I'm 144 now, and so I guess in total I started out before pre or pre pregnancy weight was 130, so I've gained about 14 pounds. And my doctor said not to be concerned about it, so I'm not <laughs> concerned about it as far as my you know weight gain journey has gone. How she's been tracking it, it's fine. I'm now officially to getting appointments every two weeks. I did not have this with the other two. I don't know why. I believe it's next month or maybe I believe it's next month they will start to go every week instead of every two weeks. So we will see how that goes. Um, one second. The only other oh well, okay I have two things that I can complain about <laughs> is my, okay, the baby sits so low that he is constantly making me uncomfortable. I have complained in the past few weeks ago, maybe several weeks ago, I don't know, about how low he was sitting before, and he's still super low, 
but where he sits and the belly band even on the maternity pants is now getting super uncomfortable so I have completely X'd out all my pre-pregnancy jeans and pants regardless if they're stretchy or not the belly band doesn't work for me anymore just the way that I'm carrying and how low he's sitting I didn't have this problem with the other two and I don't know if it's just because I've gotten bigger with this third pregnancy I mean I can't fit in those jeans anyway but when I could I would just use the belly band and I would just put it on top of it and you know I'd be fine but how he sits and how low he is it is so uncomfortable and it hurts even even wearing some of my maternity pants that have the elastic on them like the jeans and that, that have the elastic in the front it's just not working for me anymore so I mean they weren't comfortable to begin with and even though my belly has gotten big now <clears throat> I still I'm constantly having to pull them up so the fact that I'm uncomfortable in them for one just completely overall I'm not cool with so I'm not gonna be wearing those anymore <laughs> and the fact that they're too loose like around the, like the leg part but like the band you know it just it's not working out so I'm gonna have to figure something out because now that it's getting cooler I'm getting a little bit worried about what I'm going to wear I found out I found out at my doctor's appointment that if I catch the flu they say that my health is about they compared me to an 80 year old um, as far as healthiness goes so if I catch a sickness it is much worse which I can kind of relate to because when we were sick with the stomach bug and with just a cold it was a lot worse than what it was when I was not pregnant but they said if you catch the flu it could even potentially be deadly like for myself so I'm considering getting the flu shot but every time I've had the flu shot I have gotten the worst flu I would catch the worst flu that was going around at that time so I'm kind of on the fence um, I may or may not I'm considering getting like masks and just wearing the masks I already have like hand sanitizer that I have everywhere that I take everywhere with me and then I'm now going to get a spray because we are going on vacation and last time we went to Br we're going to Branson so excited we're going at the end of this week um I should have done this before but I caught the flu from being in one of the hotels because they didn't clean it very well I had noticed that they didn't even vacuum so when we were staying there it was it was a mess. Anyways, the last thing that I want to go over with you guys is my emotions. My ocean, <laughs> my emotions are still, still pretty intense. And so I'm either really sad or <laughs> right now, I mean, I'm still, I, I'm happy a lot of the time, but like when they get really intense is like when, you know, just something emotional come, will come over and then I'll be like sobbing and bawling my eyes out or I'm really angry. <laughs> and my fuse is really short so I am easily set off <laughs> and it feels so bad for my husband and kids but I can't do there is nothing I can do about it these hormones are out of control and I'm just praying to God to help me manage them so prayers for that would be quite nice because I'm having trouble keeping them at bay because more so than not I'm more angry than anything because something little that wouldn't normally bother me bothers me and then I snap and I'm just like Ugh. I'm like the Hulk but like the woman Hulk and I don't calm down too easy that's it for my notes something a little short and sweet I'll give you your bump shot and then I will sign off here's my bump 28 weeks I still have to do my um, um, still have to do my Halloween looks and I will get that up shortly and then I'm thinking about vlogging our trip to Branson I will be posting a whole bunch of pictures while I'm there just on vacation because we didn't really get to take a vacation this summer the Virgin Islands doesn't count because that was all work and really no play I spent most of the time sitting at the house and while that was fun pretty sights and all we kind of wanted vacation so I will 
be doing all of that and I will share be sharing with you so be sure to keep up to date with all of that thank you guys so much for watching I'm wishing you nothing but happiness and wellness and <laughs> the best but um, thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and comment down below whatever you want and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.